Hey everyone, my name is Lucas, and as a skinny, white, 15-year-old kid, I think I can confidently tell you that I haven't lived much. I think that most of what I say tonight, in fact, should be taken with a grain of salt. Yep, since I may have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm here tonight, though, because I feel as though there's a genre of life, if you will, that goes deeply unappreciated and is shadowed by the hard sciences and academics in general. Now, don't get me wrong, I think that Plato, Einstein, Tesla, and Newton all had something to bring to the table and helped greatly advance civilization. But I also think that Ansel Adams, Dave Chappelle, Robin Williams, Tupac, Pablo Picasso, William Shakespeare, and I dare say Justin Bieber have done the same. So you're probably saying to yourself, okay, at this point, you're just saying names, right? However, there's something that fundamentally ties the second group of people together. It's the fact that they're all artists. They, whoa, artists. They create art. So what I want to change tonight is the way in which we approach art. But first, I want to ask you, the audience, a question. How many of you feel as though you express yourselves creatively every day, just by a show of hands? Okay. <laughs> I'm not great at math, but that looks like roughly a quarter of you, maybe less. So not so many. Essentially, what I asked is how many of you feel as though you are artists? And most of you said no, granted. I hope, though, that by the end of this presentation, all of you will leave this auditorium inspired to be artists. Now, take it easy. Not in the traditional sense. I don't expect you to build a diet of ramen noodles and sell paintings on street corners. Not that that isn't a beautiful and noble pursuit. I will simply try and convince you to express yourselves more in a creative and artistic way. But before any of that, let's take a step back and talk about the consumption of art. People want to be entertained, and entertainers want to entertain. It's a simple dynamic. And at its core, it's about breaking down barriers. If an artist gets you to laugh, cry, scream, or simply to feel, then he has achieved his goal. Because it's in that moment that you're no longer aware of yourself. Otherwise, he's failed. See, I think that art is in many ways an escape from the monotony of living. The human condition is, I'm sorry to say, pretty mundane. And most of us never break the cycle. We never break the cycle. If you've ever been to a movie theater, then you've experienced this phenomenon. It's that moment in time when a hundred pairs of eyes lock on the same image and feel the same emotion, that there's an undeniable moment of connection and freedom, an overwhelming sense of communion and a loss of self. As you watch a movie, you no longer watch yourself. I think that we all love to watch movies. And we all love to be entertained. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm one to binge watch Netflix as much as the next guy, don't get me wrong. I think that we love to watch movies because of the way that that kind of art makes us feel. Whether Daniel Craig made you swoon or Akira Kurosawa brought you to tears. Of course, the same is true for the theater, music concerts, and even art galas. It's the same principle of forgetting boundaries, but conveyed through a different medium and under the umbrella of art. Uh, that's why I think that most of us are, in a way, addicted to art. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing. However, in this great cycle of art consumption, we become numb, and we miss out on something that is fundamental, that is, the creation of art. Passive observation is great. But has it ever led to any true, insightful reflection of self? I feel as though there's an emptiness within all of us of having things left unsaid, of not feeling understood. That is because language is intrinsically limited. There's so much that spoken words fail to convey. Rarely do we have conversations where everything that's on our minds is communicated. Constantly, I feel lost in translation, and I know that I can't be the only one. So, yeah, I think we need 
to cry. I think we need to express ourselves through art because there's so much that's ineffable, incommunicable. I think that we need to express ourselves through art for the same reason that we need to cry. When you cry, it's because you feel an emotion that you can't put into words. When someone composes a song, it's for the same reason. I've rarely met anyone who's told me that a painting, a book, a movie, or a song has changed their life. But certainly, drawing, writing, directing, and singing have. Art inspires the creation of art. I've seen a million photographs, but it was only when I took a picture that I truly reflected on the medium and expressed myself. I've had friends who've grown out of their shyness and have reinvented themselves in the theater classroom down the hallway. For all my life, I've glorified art for its commercial sake, but art is really in the little things. So the question to me is really, what are you waiting for? I hope that when you go home tonight, you'll wake up the next morning with an urge to create. Anyone can learn to do anything, and talent is more an, an illusion than anything else. It's that unique ability to produce from within that I think gives life its purpose. That is why every man and woman should, if not for others, then at least for themselves, create art. I think that what we all need is an outlet. Let's let creativity be our therapy. If anything at all, I hope that this TED Talk has reminded all of you that we're slowly losing our authenticity and our ability to be vulnerable, but also that we have the power to reclaim that. Maybe some of you will pick up a camera, directing a short film and editing it on something as simple as iMovie. Others might pick up a pen or a pencil and try to draw a loved one or a tree. Maybe what I've said will lead some of you to pick up dancing or acting lessons, or you'll write that novel or that poem you've been thinking about. But hopefully, all of you will create. Thank you for your time. <laughs>